Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Charlestown Races here on Saturday. It is April the 20th, 2019. It's Charlestown Classic Day from Charlestown, and I'm going to look at all the stakes races on the program. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. So we're going to look at all the stakes races. Those are races 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that was races 3 five and then uh, races three and then five through 12 so hopefully you got that so <laughs> it, it's, it would be easier to say what other races i'm not looking at but let's get on to it we have a shit ton of races to get to hopefully it's not raining at charlestown because i just came home here in new york city it's six uh seven o'clock in the morning right now and uh it's absolutely pouring so if you're gonna play aqueduct expect a very wet main track but um hopefully it's not raining in down in west virginia but uh, let's get to the third from Ac uh, from uh, charlestown which is the immortal eyes overnight dash it's going for a purse of thirty-five thousand dollars, race for four-year-olds and upwards. Field of six horses going the distance of ground of nine hundred meters with the distance of ground of four and a half furlongs on the main track. Nine hundred, four and a half. And I show the diagram. It just gives me that second to look down my notes. Just bear with me. Top selection. I'm going to go with the two horse strong like bull. I'm going to go two, four, five in the tri cash trifecta. Two, four, five tri cash trifecta. Top selection two horse strong like bull. The seven year old going by Benny the Bull. Jeff Franco trains. Arnando Boca Chica picks up the mount. The horse's most recent out came fourth of August at Mountaineer. Four and a half furlongs in the West Virginia Chairman Cup. He finished second by length there. He looked like he was going to win by a lot that day, but then he just got caught in the stretch run. He ran some a quick time, but he did run his heart out. He showed some heart against those tougher horses there. Before that, Mountaineer on the 1st of May, five furlongs in the lounge race. They usually run a race, the uh, Welcome Back Dash of Mountaineer, which actually opens, I believe, next week. But, um, you know, that day he was used early on, and uh, he just, you know, he just couldn't keep up at the end. A very tired horse at the end. That's why he didn't see the horse since August. Wasn't his day to win. And then uh, and then in the Kikes Electronica here at Charlestown, four and a half furlongs last April. He finished second by seven lengths. You know, he just stalked, and he just never got that good turn of foot. And then a four and a half the Charlestown Ops 25 claimer, his last victory. He won by three and a half on lead all throughout. He went away with it. He actually won three in a row last year to begin 2018, but um, then he must, something must have won a miss. He hasn't been seen since. Um Oh, I guess. But he's been training well. He's, he's had some very quick workouts for the surface. And um, I, I think he's going to run well. So at 5-2, I'll take him. So to recap, recap my selection for the third from Charlestown's Demortal Eyes Overnight Dash. Going to go with the two-horse strong like a bull. I'm going to go 2-4-5 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Let's get to race number five. Race number five from Charlestown. It's the Coin Collector Stakes. It's going for a purse of $50,000. Races for accredited West Virginia breads three-year-olds here. Field of eight horses heading to post a distance of ground of 900 meters or four and a half furlongs on the main track. 900 meters, four and a half furlongs. My top selection, I'm going to go to the number eight horse. The number eight horse, as my as my um, iPad craps out, it always does this during these vi big videos. Never does it on a Monday afternoon when I'm looking at parks or something, but it always does it during these big videos. But my top selection, I'm going to go with the 8 horse Burning Ring O Fire. I'm going to go 826 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 826 Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection, 8 horse Burning Ring O Fire. 3 0 Gilding by Limehouse. JD Acosta gets the leg up. The horse's most recent out came the 3rd of November here at Charlestown. 7 furlongs in West Virginia Futurity. The horse finished 4th by 5.5 lengths there. It was on the inside most race and just did not move. It wasn't his day to win. I think the cut back to four and a half, he has some speed in him, and I think that should be the trip for him. Before that, Charlestown, six and a half in the uh, West Virginia Classic stakes on West Virginia Classic night. He won by half length, and again, on lead all throughout. He ran a massive race, and, you know, he, he ran well. And then Charlestown, four and a half runs in the 50,000 overnight stakes in mid-September. He won by half length. That day, he sat back very wide, but he got there in the nick of time. A very good run at 5 to 1, and then he broke his main at Laurel very nicely on the lawn, closing up well. Like I said, I think the cutback and trip should suit him. He's going to have to overcome a wide post trip, but I think he can, so at 3 to 1, I'll take him. So to recap my selection for the fifth from Charlestown, it's the coin collector stakes. I'm <clears throat> going to go with the 8 horse burning Ringo Fire. I'm going to go 8 2 6 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. So now let's get to race number six from Charlestown, which is the original gold stakes. Purse $50,000 races for West Virginia Brads, Phil's Mayors, three-year-olds, and upwards. We have a field of seven horses heading to post. The distance of ground of 1,400 meters, or seven furlongs on the main track. 1,400, seven furlongs. My top selection here in the... Um, 
original goals. I'm going to go to the number seven horse who was Anna's Bandits. I'm going to go 742 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 742 Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection seven horse Anna's Bandit. Five Bill Mayor by Great Notion. Uh, gets Xavier Prez up in the saddle. <clears throat> the horse's most recent on came the 16th of March at Laurel. Seven furlongs in the Conaver Stakes or the Conaver. I always say his name wrong. Uh, but, um, you know, he won by head that day. This one, um, Anna's Bandit. She sat back early. She had a little bit of a wide trip in the stretch, but he, she took off clear at the end, and she won very nicely at the end. Before that, Laurel 5 and a half off to claimer, she won by 5, and almost on lead all throughout. It was a very speed-favoring course at Laurel in January, and she t took good, good advantage of it, and she won very nicely. And then the politely stakes at Laurel, 6 rungs, December 29th. She finished third by one and a quarter lengths. A little bit of a turn of foot, but it wasn't nothing. It wasn't anything to go home, call home about. It wasn't her day to win. And then in the Geisha at Laurel on the slap one mile on November 24th, she had a fourth by six and a quarter lengths. She had a little bit of a turn of foot, but again, it wasn't her day to win. Um, I like her a lot here today. Back to, to West Virginia's Charlestown. She has been her, uh, but she also could rate a little bit. I think she'll rate going seven for alongs because I think there might be a little bit speedier horses here. Um, only problem, again, six to five, it, the price sucks. <clears throat> Some of these races, something I've noticed about Charlestown Classic Day at Charlestown, the the short price favorites will win, and then you'll get like some one random horse that you so you'll scratch your head about. Um, I think that one random horse will come a little bit later, but this race I think it will go to the favorite. She does well here, and um, I like her a lot. So at six to five, I'll take her. If you're gonna play the multi race, I, I would single her. But to recap my selection for the six from Charlestown's the original golds, I'll go with the seven horse Anna's Bandit. I'll go. Where are we? I'm going to go 7-4-2 in the Tri-Cast Trifecta. Let's get to the seventh race from Charlestown, which is the Confucius Say Stakes. Purse $50,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. West Virginia Reds here. Field of nine horses going 1,400 meters or the distance of round of seven furlongs on the main track. 1,400, seven furlongs. My top selection... <clears throat> I'm going to go to the number seven horse, North Atlantic. I'm going to go seven, uh, where are we? I'm going to go seven, four, five in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Seven, four, five, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, seven horse, uh, North Atlantic. Six year old owned by Gosap, who will probably run, I think, one of the best British Cup classics I've ever seen. Jeff Franco trains this one. Christian Geraldo gets the leg up. The horse's most recent on came the 28th of March at Charlestown, seven furlongs in the lounge race, 29,000. He won by a nose there. He stalked early on. He had to fight a lot to get the lead. The, one, the horse that finished second just did not want to back away. This horse fought a good race, and he got there in the end. It was a very good victory first off the break. Before that, in the Ejuevo Stakes at Charlestown, mile made November the 10th, he finished second by two lengths. He stalked most of the race, and the winner just ran a hell of a race with some easy fraction on the front end. It wasn't his day to win. And then the West Virginia Brewers Classic Charlestown, mile on the 8th, November, October the 13th, the horse finished second by two and a half lengths. He closed up well from mid-pack, but he, again, the winner just ran that better race. But I think the cut back to seven for the first time, in, uh, for the first time against stakes quality horses and quite a while should suit him. Um, you know, he ran here on this day last year, and he finished second by a neck in the Lucy Bob Boy Stakes, uh, where he just, you know, if he broke better, he probably would have won, but he fought a good race down the lane. He always fights good races. 7-2, to two, I'll take him here. So to recap my selection for the 7th from Charlestown, it's the Confucius Say. I'm going to go with the 7-horse North Atlantic. I'm going to go... Seven, four, five in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Let's get to the eighth race from Charlestown. Race number eight from Charlestown. It's the Robert Hilton Memorial. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of eight horses heading to post. The distance of ground of 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the main track. 1,400, seven furlongs. Top selection in the Hilton Memorial. I'm going to go to the number two horse, Federal Case. I'm going to go 271 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 271 Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection of two horse, Federal Case. Three old Colt by Gemologist. Top Fletcher Trains. John Velasquez picks up the mount. The horse's most recent out. He came 23rd of March at Goldstream. Six furlongs in the grade three Hutchinson. He finished second by four lengths found Gladiator, Gladiator King, who um, ran a hell of a race in the front end. This horse was just too wide and. Um, you know, the winner just ran a major race. It wasn't his day to win. Before that, they took this horse around two turns in the Holy Bull at Goldstream, mile 16th, February the 2nd. He finished seventh by six and a quarter lengths, and, uh, you know, he didn't break all that well and got pushed around at the start, and he just never had a good run. It wasn't his day to win. I think uh, he'll, he'll do well in a rounding trip, but just, uh, you know, hopefully he'll have a better trip when he gets to the rounding 
distance, but I think sprinting around two turns today is do a lot better. Before that, Goldstrom, one mile off center by Claimer, he won by a Nike stalked, he got the lead, and he held on to a very nice victory, and then his first career, career outing ever came at Keeling, going about seven furlongs, mean especially six, six thousand, where he won by a half length, and he just took off clear late after a very good victory on the front end. Um, he's been training well since the last one down in Palm Beach, and um, I think he has a speed twin, and like I said, it, that horse he lost to a, in the Hutchinson's a very good horse, so, um, you know, that, that's some good form lines. Uh, so at 9 to 5, I'll take him here. I'll single him in the pick 6 or whatever I decide to play in the multis. But to recap my selection for the 8th from Charlestown, it's the Robert Hilton Memorial. I'm going to go with the 2 horse Federal Case. I'm going to go 2 7 1 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. Race number 9 from Charlestown, it's the Russell Road Stakes per $75,000. Race for 3 year olds and upwards. We have a field of nine horses going the distance of ground of 1400 meters or the distance of ground of again seven furlongs and like i said earlier i showed the diagram it just gives me that little extra second to look down at my notes especially for this race because i have a little shit ton of notes um but my top selection here i'm gonna go to the um, number two horse, Cool Arrow. I'm going to go 273 in the Tri Cash Trifecta. 273 Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection of two horse, Cool Arrow. This five year old horse by Into the Mischief. Joe Sharp trains. Kendra Caramouche comes in from New York to ride this one. The horse's most recent outing came the 14th of February at Oaklawn. One mile off 45 clamor. He won by three quarters length. He was on lead all throughout and he just went away with it. A very good run there off the break. Before that, the 12th of August at Laurel. Good seal go. Seven from and Polynesian stakes. He finished six by eight and a half lengths there, and he stalked and, and was wide and had nothing. It, you know, he just couldn't keep up there. And then Prairie Mer Meadows, six furlongs in the Iowa Sprint. He finished eighth by 17 and three quarter lengths. He was very wide, and he just, again, I, he must have got injured or something, cause, or bled, because he just didn't handle it. Also, it was very human night. Maybe that had something to do with it. And then a Churchill one mile shot under Claimer on Derby Weekend. He finished six by ten quarter lengths. Uh, that was to race McCracken one quite nicely. He dueled early on. That set off, that set the pace for McCracken to close up with. Again, it wasn't his day to win, but his last victory before that came to Fairgrounds going mile and off to 40 Claimer, which he won by half length, and he went away with it. His, the races he wins is are going to be on the front end. You know, Kendrick Karamush is a smart rider. He usually sends the horses to lead. He's He's going to send this horse to lead, and I think uh, if he does that, there's going to be no stopping this one. At 4-1, to one, I'll definitely use him in the multis. So to recap my selection for the night from Charlestown, it's to Russell Road. Going to go with the two-horse Cool Arrow. Going to go 2-7-3 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Race number 10 from Charlestown. It's the Dance to Bristol Stakes. First $100,000. Race for Phillies Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses heading 1,400 meters again. It's becoming a theme. Or the distance of ground of seven furlongs on the main track. 1,400, seven furlongs. <coughs> Top selection here in the Road to Bristol, or Dance to Bristol, whatever. Top selection, I'm going to go to the number four horse, who is Isotope. I'm going to go 4-5-3 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 4-5-3 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, four horse, Isotope. Isn't that the uh, baseball team in, in the, uh, the the Simpsons, the Springfield Isotopes, or is it the Shelbyville Isotopes? Um, but um, <laughs> I know it's something like that. But um, this five-year-old mare by successful appeal, Jeremiah Englehart trains. Javier Castellano picks up the mounts. The horse is most recent. Now it came the 30th of March here at Charlestown. Seven frogs in the uh, 35,000 overnight stakes. He, he finished second by two and three quarter lengths there. It was a small field of horses. Only four of them went to post. He dueled early on. He just never got that good turn of foot. It wasn't his day to win. Before then, the Maryland Racing Media Stakes at Laurel about a mile 16 February the 18th. The horse finished fourth by eight lengths. Again, he was drawn too wide, and you don't want to be wide around two turns, especially at Laurel. And then at a mile at, at Laurel and in the 38 and go, he won by one quarter. He stalked early on. He got the lead, and then he took off. That was a very good victory. Today, Javier Castellano should help, you know, should stalk with a good pace in front of him, and I think he'll get away with it, because if you look at the horses he faced, especially in New York, and then look at these horses, you know, the, the horses in New York are a lot tougher, so um, you know, I think he should really get away with it. He's been training decently, and I think at 6-1, I'll use him here. Um, I think he might be one of your random horses of the day. So to recap my selection for the 10th from Charlestown, it's the Dance to Bristol. I'm going to go with the four-horse Isotope. I'm going to go 4-5-3 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Let's get to the featured 11th race from Charlestown. Race number 11 from Charlestown. It's the Charlestown Classic. It's a grade 2 event going for a purse of $1 million. Race for 4 year olds and upwards. Field of 11 horses. The 11 horse isn't also eligible, so 10 will go the distance of ground of 1,800 meters or the distance of ground of 1 mile and 1 eighth on the main track. 1,800, a mile and eighth on the main track. Three turns, basically.
And uh, this is a very good race. One of the best runnings, I think, of it. My top selection, I'm going to go to the number four horse, who is Rally Cry. I'm going to go 4-3-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 4-3-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta. If you're going to play the multi-race, I would go three deep here, because I think any of the three can win. But the top selection, four horse, Rally Cry. This uh, six-year-old horse by Uncle Mo. John Velasquez picks up the mount for Tom Pletcher. The horse's most recent outing came the 1st of September at uh, Saratoga, mile eighth in the Grade 1 Woodward. He finished fourth by three lengths. From a wide poster, 14 out of 14 going mile eighth at Saratoga. It sucks. So he had to leave off the gate. He was a little bit too wide, kind of weakened out of it, but for from where he broke from, he still ran a good effort, I thought. You know, he's coming here first off the break. It's less a quality race, and I think he could get a better run than he did in the in the um, in the Woodward before that. Saratoga Simfrom, July 21st, an optional lady claimer. He finished fourth by 16 lengths, and he was very wide again. And he just again never got that good turn of foot. It wasn't the day to win first off the break. And then the 7th of October at uh, of 2017 at Belmont Mountain Quarter in the Grade One Jock Club Gold Cup, he finished sixth by 18 lengths, and he stalked and didn't have the best of trips that day, and uh, he never had the run. Uh, the Bears probably ran a hell of a race and then he ran the Woodward in 2017 where he finished second by 10 and a quarter lengths behind Gunrunner. Gunrunner probably ran one of the best races of his life that afternoon. This horse he just stalked and had nothing but before that this horse did win the alley door very nicely on the front end. He's a very good horse. He had he you know he has shown in spots he could run but then he's shown in spots he could run shit races also but I think coming here off the break into a six-year-old campaign he's going to be a very you know he, uh, when horses get older they get mature and i think uh the maturity should help this one and like i said i think he's he is a good enough horse to win and um i'll take him here at nine to two so to recap my selection for the 11th and charles towns the great two million dollar charlestown classic i'll go with the four horse rally cry i'll go four three one in the tri cast trifecta and like i said i'll go four three one in the multi-race so now let's get to race number 12 from Charlestown, <clears throat> the final race on the program I'll, I'll be looking at. 12th race, it's the It's Been Too Long Stakes. It's going for a purse, $50,000. Race for West Virginia bred, three-year-old fillies. Field of nine horses going 900 meters or the distance of ground of uh, four and a half furlongs on the main track. 900 meters, four and a half. Now, I know these races are usually named after horses, but the It's Been Too Long shouldn't be run at four and a half furlongs. I'm sorry. It should be run a little bit longer, you know, maybe like a mile and a quarter, or, you know, some kind of marathon trip to, uh, you know, to go with the name, but um, that's for another day. But uh, my top selection, <clears throat> I'm going to go with the five horse Parisian Diva. I'm going to go five, seven, six in the Tri Cash Trifecta. Five, seven, six, Tri Cash Trifecta. Top selection, the five horse Parisian Diva. This drill fully by Freedom Child. JD Acosta picks up the mounts. The horse's most recent out came the 3rd of April at Charlestown. Six stamp allowance raised 24,000 on 3L. He won by six and three quarter. He was on lead all throughout, and he just went away with it. Didn't even get the stick. It, it doesn't get any easier than that first off the break before that on December the 1st at Charlestown on the mud seven furlongs in the easy K in the EKC Memorial he won by five and that day he didn't break all that well had a horrible trip early on but he circled to feel the top lane and he took off clear it was a very good victory and then back in October Charlestown six and a half furlongs on West Virginia Classic Night he finished third by four and a quarter lengths he was wide and he just never got the good tip, chip uh, trip but um, I like him here second off the break back to four and a half he's a speedy and a horse a, a speedy horse to win and I think think he will, so I'll single him to end off this uh, multis, but to recap my selection for the 12th from Charlestown State, it's been too long, I'm going to go with the 5-4's Parisian Diva, I'm going to go 5-7-6 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta, so good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 good luck everybody.